Hello. Welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission this evening using a different recording medium, so hopefully this will come out okay. Uh, I'm actually going to preview it myself before I actually uh, release this to the uh, world of YouTube. So hopefully this works out. So we're doing the Weekend Anomaly mission here at the Nexus. It is... August 11th. Let's see what we got in store for us today. Wow, and I just happen to be on the anomaly. Let's first, I want to make sure. I'm going to make sure my network is, yeah, we're disabled on multiplayer, so that's good. Um, normally, I wouldn't mind, you know, having multiplayer on, but uh, we're going to go ahead and change ships too while we're at it. So we'll at least change that up a little bit. Switch the docked ship. So, what should we go with today? Hmm, that looks like a pretty cool little ship to go with. Let's do that one. There we go. I'll use the ball today. Ball of fire. Excellent. Art of fire is actually what it's called, but <clears throat> I call it the ball. Ball of fire. All right. Let's get over here and see what our Nexus mission is in store. As you can see, we got the icon at the top indicating that it it is the new mission. Essential materials. We have to acquire 766 activated copper. Now, the problem is, before I choose that video, let's go ahead and exit this real quick. Problem is, if I'm not mistaken, I've already got <laughs> a ton of copper right now. Let me see if I can just put this in my freighter, if that will help any. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if that works or not, because it may register that I have that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab it. And as a reward, we get a 400,000 units, a couple war piper cores, and obviously our Quicksilver. So let's go ahead and get a move on. And we'll check out the Quicksilver store here in a little bit and make sure everything's cool in there. All right, off to our ship, Art of Fire. As you know, blue and yellow are pretty much my favorite colors in this game. The ship is so stinking tiny, it's incredible. One thing I kind of like about it. So, so far, and I'm watching my, uh, my new capturing software. It looks like it's working okay, so we'll see how this works out. By all means, leave some comments in there if you didn't hear anything or things didn't sound right or something along those lines. Along those lines. We'll see what happens here. All right. Uh, unruly. Got to be careful here. Flourishing. Good, good, good. That means it's a good system. Just got to wait for it to tell me where I'm going. Okay. Activated indium detected? Okay. That's not what I expected. Let me check that real quick. Okay. Well, wants us to get those resources. That happens on those missions. I, occasionally, I run into that. It says I wanted activated copper, and now it's telling me it's getting I'm getting activated indium. So the ship I got, apparently, I've never done anything with it. That is hilarious. So there's our hyperdrive that I've never actually done anything with. Pulse engine, we'll put you over here for now. That is hilarious. I have no weapons on board, I don't think. Yeah, I got those. Well, hopefully, I don't get attacked. All right. These are fast little suckers. Looks like we got some place that we can land. Oh, it's a drop pod. Yeah, I don't need any of those anymore. Do a quick scan. Got plenty of resources I can see down below. Very interesting little planet we got here. Yeah, just a little campsite there. Let's go check this one out. Wow, this thing's actually pretty quick. Nope, down the drop pod. What in the world? Can't find them in my permadeath runs, but no, I'm going to find them here. Yeah, that's the place I was just at. Let's go a different direction here. Just trying to find some place to land real quick. Oh, yeah. Can't point this one out to me, can you? See? Look at that. I got a landing pad. Firestorm. Just what I need. That's okay. That's because uh, it does wonders for your jetpack. 
So that's actually a good thing. And when we land here, we're going to see if we can't find some activated indium. I have no idea how much we need to find. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, humming sack, nope. Pyrite, nope. Activated indium. Not very far away either. What about you? Sodium. Sodium. Let's keep looking. Sodium. Activated indium. Not too far away. That's not bad. Pyrite. Very far away. Same thing with you. And you. And it tells me I've already got some because I already had some. I'm going to get some anyway. I don't have any idea how much we were supposed to get because you changed the resource on me, you doofus. <laughs> is what it is. So we're going to head over here. I'm going to mine some anyway. So there. See what I mean about these storms? They're really good. All right. Uh, let's see. We need our terrain manipulator. Yes, of course. And here we go. So I'm going to get about, I don't know, one at 700. I don't think we're going to get 700 from this one. We're going to do it anyway. Too bad. Tough noogies. Yeah, I said tough noogies. Give me a break. Watch for a possible stream tomorrow night. Haven't decided yet. We've got to restart our fugitive run after that glorious death. Pirates. That was pretty awesome. Pretty way, pretty cool way to go. And my thermal protection is falling, in case you weren't aware. As you know, I love to hear these things. I may make it Beeble Bum's voice. I haven't decided yet. I don't know how in the world I would do that, to be honest with you. So, don't quote me on that. But anyway, here we go. We're getting activated indium. We'll get about 500 or so. We want to keep a good stock of it. I keep a good stock, as you saw in my inventory, of everything. Because if I decide to go to a galaxy center and appear in a new galaxy or something like that and start to do some galaxy hopping, um, invariably your ship gets damaged. And you need resources to repair said ships. Uh, at this point, I've got so many wiring looms and storage on my freighter that I think I can pretty much uh, repair a freighter. So, yeah, there's that. Great, got to start over again, of course. But that's okay. So you're probably going to end up having to get about, like it said, about 600, 700 of whatever you're trying to gather. In my case, like I said, it turned out that it wants activated indium now. Instead of the one that I was supposed to be getting. Which was the other stuff. Got another hundred. Okay, let's see how many we ended up with. Uh, you know what? We won't even know at this point how much we ended up with because I already got a metric uh, metric boatload in my inventory to begin with but hey you know like I said we can always use more so use the smallest setting you'll gather the most materials it takes longer of course but you'll gather more materials from a resource just keep that in mind the larger settings you gather less the only the only resource I've ever found oh that's lovely an electrical disturbance yay just what I need right there watch See? Watch, watch. Bam. See? You gotta be careful of those electrical disturbances. They can hurt. Alright, so we've got a good amount of resources here. And we're gonna go ahead and take it back to our ship. Smaller is better. Like I said, the only one resource that I found that makes a difference is um, uh, silicon. So, like getting this... I can get a lot of this and see I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's counting up slowly. On a larger setting, you're going to get a lot more. See how it's climbing up faster. And on the largest setting, you'll get tons more. See how it's just, it's racing up now. So that is the only resource where you can gather a lot more with a larger setting is the silicate powder. 
Silicate powder is very useful, not only for recharging this particular terrain manipulator, but in also making glass. I actually recommend using it for making glass rather than using um, uh, frost crystals. Frost crystals are kind of hard to come by. You have to go to special planets, the cold planets, to pick them. Yeah. And it uses about the same amount of resources. I'm not using the right buttons here. Okay, good. We're out. Uh, honey, where's my ship? There it is. Okay. And off we go. Excellent. And on the other side. Ouch. Just broke my ankles again. So as you can see, I've changed up my character a little bit. I've now got mechanical legs and arms. And I've got the Wayfarer's Helm. So I'm loving that. Really like the look. So, yeah. And, and my ship that has absolutely nothing in it. I am going to have to upgrade it one of these days and get some nice weapons and stuff for it. But hey, it's a cool ship. Get out of the atmosphere here. Oh, we got to activate. We got to go to the secure deposit, which is over here. It doesn't seem to be very far away, so I guess we can head straight there. It's really a kind of a creepy looking planet, for the most part. I think it's actually a moon, if I'm not mistaken, but whatever. And down we go. Yep. Gee, I wonder where we're going. And these little ships, I tell you, they're very, very fast. Plus, they um, happen to have very good hyperdrive capability. Though, I still recommend the new Sentinel ships for hyperdrive. They come with uh, usually about a 500 to 600 uh, light year range to begin with without any upgrades. So, they're very much worth, worth it. Delivery lockbox prepared. Sissy. This must be Polo's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. So it wanted seven fifty here. So I think we got pretty much about that much. Delivery processing success, and that's all you have to do, except to go back to the to the Nexus at this point. Um, that's not my ship. I'll take this ship. Thank you. And we're on our way. Okay. Now, if anything happens with this, I'll have to use one of my other saves in order to do the Nexus mission. But that's okay. Go back to the Nexus by pulling in the Space Anomaly. And off we go. You know what's really interesting? If you look at this. Let's take a look at it. Look. Little one. Big one. Little one. Big one. It's a little ball. Going to a big ball. Isn't that cute? Okay, enough of this. Yeah, don't ask. It's been a really, really weird week, so if you're wondering what in the world is going on with me, that's probably why. It's been one of those rough weeks. So you get to the end of the week, and on a Friday night, you're just... Your brain is going into realms you never thought you could possibly go into. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn this in at the Nexus. Out we go. Okay. There it is. Complete the mission. Yay! 1800 Quicksilver, a War Piper Core, and... Oh, the money. Right, we got the money. I was wondering what, I was, what else I was missing here. Okay, so we're going to take that War Piper Core, wherever it ended up, and I'm going to put it in this ship so it has it. All right, excellent. Now let's go over here and check out the Quicksilver Companion. All right, looks like Tier 3 has not yet been unlocked, but boy, we are 78%. We're almost there. We're getting really, really close. So we'll be there soon, um, and then we'll get the other ones. The ones I'm really, I like the Starship one, but I'm really looking forward to getting the System one. That's okay, you know, but this one definitely is what I'm looking forward to. So, and if you're wondering how to access them, once you have them, they're in your Gestures menu. So you go to here to Gestures, and you'll see that you have... Right there. So you hold it out, and you've got your frigate, as you can see. And we can also do the blob. And if you select it while you're walking, you can do this. See? Look at that. So you got these really weird things that happen when you're doing them. I don't think it happens with anything else. 
No, I'm pretty sure I have no idea why it happens that way, but that's okay. All right, so that's what you got going on here, folks. That is the anomaly mission for this weekend. It's to basically uh, salvage some stuff from a planet, and it may not always be what it tells you it is at the very start, so keep that in mind. You may tell you to gather up different resources, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll throw one more gesture at you, and that is a gesture of waving. See you all later. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.